sometimes people do not realize is that with, with silver, when you remove the tarnish, you're actually removing a layer of the silver, a layer of the object. And that's why we try to control the environment so that the tarnish does not happen. Keep the silver in a dry environment because humidity accelerates the tarnishing process. Keep your silver away from things like wool because that off-gasses sulfites that cause the silver to tarnish. Try not to handle your silver with your bare hands. It's another reason why I'm wearing these rather flashy gloves because our natural oils cause localized corrosion and sometimes it's really fascinating when you find a thumbprint that has been etched into the metal surface and then you can occasionally find somebody's fingerprints from years gone by. For something like this I would probably just use a silver cloth to give it a, an extra shine. If there is very very heavy tarnishing then I might have to use some chemicals, swabbing them in, in local areas and then making sure that I've rinsed afterwards. With a piece like this that is very ornate you have the added problem of chemicals remaining ingrained and causing corrosion later on in time. We're trying to discover the story of the object, what the object has to tell us about the past in order to be able to tell back that story to, to visitors. So it's very important that whatever I do, I do not delete or obscure that story.